Good morning, everyone. I hope everybody is doing good. This is Christy. I haven't done a video in a very long time, so please bear with me. Today I'm going to do a color and chat, which I, I started working on, and it is from the Color and Quest Animals. I think that is so cute. I love bears. Anybody knows me knows I am bear obsessed. But I hope everybody's doing okay and having a wonderful day. And hope we all have a nice weather. It has been really warm, really hot here. Yesterday, me and my husband went up to the mountain. And we like to go up there and ride around and walk and look for bears. And been very fortunate up there. I've gotten to see several bears and it's a little bit scary when we're out walking and <laughs> and you know there's a bear in there especially if it's a mother mother with her cubs that can be quite scary we went in there last summer and like probably about 50 yards up there was a bear it was like two or three standing in the middle of the road and it seen us and it kind of started galloping toward us. It scared the crap out of me. We were like walking, trying to, you know, slowly work our way back to the truck. And my husband was walking backwards, making sure, you know, keep an eye on the bear. And finally it just kind of cut off and went over in the grass somewhere. I was very really thankful that we didn't have no confrontation there but I think there are beautiful animals I love to watch them but they are also very dangerous so anybody got any summer plans made vacations I know last summer it was pretty much run for everybody with the pandemic staying indoors and you couldn't even go to a swimming pool, which, you know, I know we're still going to be really cautious because the virus is far from being over. So, however, it has opened up a little bit more, which I am so glad. I'm so ready for everything to get back to normal, whatever that may be these days. have many of y'all got the COVID shot we were going to get it I kind of chickened out of it scared about it the doctor had talked to me about it being unknown and all the side effects to have you know happen people dying from it and but yeah, there's been a lot of people that had it and done well with it so a double edge sword there but at this point I'm just not quite ready to get it maybe one day I do wear my mask when I go anywhere I try not to get out any more than I have to but I do definitely like to wear a mask make sure my kids wear a mask my husband has AFib and some other health problems. He's really high risk if he gets it, so I have to really you know, take precaution for him. And of course, my kids. The kids were like terrified in the beginning of it, but they're doing a lot better. My middle daughter, she would have a panic attack every morning before school, and then. We would take her to school, and it wouldn't be even an hour later, and they would be calling me. She would be at school throwing up. I mean, it really, really messed with her. And at one point, they made me take her and have a COVID test done, which she was not very happy about having a swab stick up her nose. <laughs> but I was so glad, you know, just to get it off her mind that she didn't have it. And, it is scary, definitely. So, what's everybody doing these days, craft-wise? My love, of course, is still diamond painting. I love to diamond paint. But I do do a lot of other crafting, too. Like, 
coloring. I like to do resin. I like to knit. Uh, cross stitch, which I'm really new at cross stitch, and I'm still trying to learn on it. I was so tickled. I watch uh, Rachel Ray. I love watching her channel. She is so such a breath of fresh air. She's so full of life. I love her personality and. She was actually the first YouTuber I started watching. But anyway, she had a she had a giveaway and I won. I cannot believe it because I never win anything. I was tickled to death. And it was a little happy birthday cross stitch. So I have not started that yet, but uh last couple of days I've been trying to dye dye my own fabric. Which right now I'm just doing Ada because it's easier to see the holes on there. I don't see how a lot of people use like the even weave and the linen and all that. And I am nowhere near that yet. So, but maybe one day. Practice does make perfect. I do have uh, my own Etsy shop. I do turn uh, diamond painting pens. I have a little mini lathe and it's doing good. It's um. I have made a few sales in it, and that tickles me. I really enjoyed doing it. And I might do a video one day on showing some of the pins that I have done. But what, what's everybody doing? What is your craft of choice these days? I would love to hear if y'all would put it in the comments down below. I really appreciate that. Crocheting is something that I would really like to do. I just haven't quite caught on to it yet. I watch a lot of videos. I learn a lot of what I do. I do learn from watching other people on YouTube. I really enjoy that. Um, I just got through knitting a shawl. I just learned how to do shawls, and I was so tickled. And I found a tutorial on YouTube. I can't remember who she was or I'll pay him, but she was super at explaining it. And it really turned out really good. So I am in the process of making another one. And I've been wanting to try to even hand dye my own yarn. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You don't know until you try. And I love any kind of crafting. It's really funny because five years ago, I didn't do anything. My love was like electronics, video games, music, but no. If anybody had told me five years ago that I would be into all the stuff I'm into now, I would probably laughed at them. It's funny how you change and how your likes and interests change because I hardly ever look at I can go to the store, I hardly ever even go back to the electronics anymore when that was like my favorite, my only part of store that I like going to. And crafting it can be a very expensive habit. Very expensive. And I'm one of these that likes to have accessories things I don't need but I want them like the diamond painting pens, the trays you name it so that can really really get pricey when you get into doing all that but it makes me happy so and the way I look at it I work I deserve it I treat myself but anyway I have no idea what this is going to be I love the color by number and another coloring book I have really gotten into is the lines, spirals, and dots I was just introduced to them here recently with uh, Lisa's Coloring Corner I love those books so I've got about three or four of them and they are just so much fun 
I really like doing a picture where you don't know what it's going to be until you do it. The mystery. I really enjoy that. And with diamond painting too. I've done a um, couple of mystery diamond paintings from Facebook. From a Facebook group. And really, oh no! Look what I did. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. But I just made a big old boo boo there. I cannot stand to go out of the lines when I am color. It makes me feel like I have ruined the whole entire book. Anybody else like that? I mean, that is really like, I'm OCD about that. And it does, it's like the whole book is just ruined when I do that. But anyway, I am who I am. Been so long since I've gotten on here to talk to anybody, and I just thought they would be a good day. The kids are taking a nap, and the husband's at work, and I had a time, so I wanted to sit down and just touch base with everybody. I'm still really new at making the videos, and please bear with me. Never have been very, very good at stuff like computers, technology, uh, like a, the editing and all these little things that people do in their videos. I have no clue. So I am really new and just kind of testing the water, I guess. But you don't, you don't. You don't know anything until you, you know you gotta learn it and do it. But I do believe that I can do anything that I put my mind to. I don't know if I mentioned that I'm getting ready to start a new job and I'm really, really excited about it. I'll be working from home. I've never worked from home, so it's gonna be a whole new ball game for me. But it'll be really good. I'll be glad my kids are home. For the summer to be here with them. Well, my middle daughter, she does have to go to summer school. I really feel bad for her, but it is what it is, so she will be going to summer school. But still, you know, I'm just happy to be home and getting paid. <laughs> getting paid to be home. And it's totally different from any kind of work I've ever done. I never had been much of one for talking on the phone, and now that will be will be my job, talking on the phone and computers. But I guess it will be a whole different story when I'm getting paid for it. <laughs> it's funny, I was talking to my mom the other day, and she was like hoping, you know, she goes, I hope you really like your new job. She goes, I worry. She goes, you never have been one to want to talk on the phone. And she goes, but of course, you never got paid to talk on the phone either. And that does make it a whole different story, so. We will see. But I have been off work uh, for a little while, about a month, a little over a month, and it's been really good. I've enjoyed being home and having more time to craft, but it does hurt the, the pocketbook. That is for sure. So I am definitely ready to get back in there and start and make more money so I can buy more crafting. I do believe that is all of the ones. So we are going to go with gray. Always have a time putting these markers back in here. The case is made really different than any anyone I've ever seen. Actually, it's just got Okay, we are going to do number two, which is gray. I have no idea what this picture is going to be yet. I love animals, so can't go wrong with an animal. With me, anyway. I hope everybody is really doing, doing good. 
and enjoying your crafting. It really helps my anxiety. I have uh, very bad anxiety, which it has gotten a lot better. And I find the crafting has really, really helped me a lot because I don't, my mind's not constantly on um, on stuff that, you know, would, whatever would, you know, cause me to have the anxiety. Because now I'm more focused on, you know, doing, doing things like this. And it really helps out. My oldest daughter, she, uh, she has really bad, really bad panic attacks, and it really, really got a big, uh, a hold on her. She, um, she wouldn't hardly go out of the house by a year. I mean, she wouldn't, she wouldn't hardly want to come out of her room, even, and she had went to the hospital. She had a UTI, and, um, she went to the hospital, and they gave her some kind of medication that she was allergic to and um, her heart started racing and then she just started flipping out and I think her heart rate got up to like almost 200 and they had to give her something you know wherever they uh kind of when they give you something they to counteract that kind of you know counteracts it whatever, you know, kind of pulls the medicine back out of her, and, I mean, it, it really did something to her, she's afraid to go to the doctor, she's, um, she can't really even go to a store, I mean, this is a kid that loved going to Walmart, you know, I mean, she absolutely loved going shopping, and now, you can't really get her to go in Walmart, or even shopping, I'm really worried about her. I mean, but she has gotten so much better. She's doing. She still has the anxiety, but she is doing much better with it. And I started having them. Like I was 21. She was a baby. So I was 21, and she is 19. So she did start earlier than me, and oh. She wouldn't really want to get in with the doctor, you know, to get on any kind of medication. So she kind of battled it, you know. Or is battling it on her own, you know, not taking any kind of medication. Which I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't want her on mess. And if she don't have, to, you know, have to be, I don't want her getting dependent on anything like that. But at the same time, I don't want her... I don't want to live in a torment or you know how to be afraid to go out of the house or anything like that. She's a hypochondriac really bad. She fears death. I mean, least little thing. She's always like, am I going to be okay? Can that kill me? So she's really, really struggles with that. But like I mentioned, she is doing a lot better. I gotta get out and do more. Anxiety is not. It is not fun. And I think a lot of these crafting channels have, have begun, you know, due to anxiety, you know, stress, anxiety, depression, and and I think that's a wonderful thing. You know. And you meet so many wonderful people out there in the community, you know, that show support and it's amazing some of the people, you know, that I've I've met through during my crafting journey. Just really amazing people. So and I try to get her into uh, into diamond painting, but she has really bad eyesight. She supposed to wear glasses, but she never wears them. But anyway, I try to get her into it, and she just can't really see good enough to dye my paint. And she's gotten into this kick where she wants to make slime. <laughs> of all things, she wants to make slime. And also, I, don't, I think I mentioned I had a little Etsy shop where I do the 
hand turned acrylic diamond painting pens and one day I will do a video showing some of the pens that I've done. They turn out really good. I'm excited about it. And I try to do um, other things as well. I've got put in the shop some cover reminders and tote bags. I love sewing. I love to make like tote bags and stuff sewing. I'm definitely not no seamstress or anything, but I'm learning and I do enjoy it. So, and the Cricut. I have a Cricut maker where you can do all kinds of awesome stuff with that. I just got the coffee cup press and I, I haven't used it yet, but I'm really excited about it. I mean, it's amazing, the, those cups, I mean, they look like they have been professionally done. It just blows my mind. It, and that's one thing about the Cricut, too. It is so, so expensive when you get into getting the materials and everything that you need to do your projects and stuff. And when you've got a hundred hobbies like me, it's kind of hard to buy everything for all of them. So I just kind of stick more with what I like. You know, it's like diamond painting and coloring and... Excuse me, get a drink. My mouth is getting dry. But yeah, I like to, I guess, concentrate on the ones I like the most. A little at a time. I got a, um... A die cut machine and I haven't used it yet and I've gotten a couple of embossing folders and embossing powder and stuff to get myself set up for it stamps and all that good stuff I like a lot of the paper crafting too so junk journal I can't talk now sorry junk journaling I really enjoy that a lot. I've done a, um, a Halloween junk journal, well, like a spooky themed junk journal. I, I will show it one day. I really like the way it turned out. But there's just so much different stuff out there that you can do and I just really enjoy it. But I don't see no more twos right now. And I definitely will not get this picture done today on film, but get on here for a few minutes and chat with everybody and see how everybody's doing. And I would love if y'all would share what you're working on down in the comments. I like seeing what other people are doing and seeing their projects and stuff. I really enjoy that. I have no idea what this is going to be. I guess kind of the point of it, right? When you do a mystery I really do enjoy it though. But anyway, that's about all I've got to talk about today. And I hope everybody has a wonderful day and Enjoy the weather, enjoy your crafting, enjoy your family, and enjoy your life. And I will see you back in the next video. Thank you, everybody. Bye!